Hey guys, Shambhi here and today we're back into the beginner account series and in today's video I will do a recap of what I have done in the past 24 hours to achieve vert some new runes and break some new achievements so you can learn along and also progress at the same pace or if you're taking a slower pace that is totally fine you don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing right now but one thing is I'm very conflicted because I'm also posting every day I noticed Bago is also posting every day and I think Shay Shizzle is probably posting very frequently as well and because we started at around the same time which means we're gonna progress at the same pace which also means we're gonna talk about the same thing and maybe use the same unit honestly I don't watch because I don't want to get influenced because we're literally doing the same thing if I watch any content I will definitely get influenced and I will say the same thing so is it okay if I post daily I'm not sure if talking about the stuff that I did during the day will be helpful to you maybe it is it's like a diary ish maybe it is not but sometimes I just really want to talk about the stuff that I did because in the past series there were a lot of small details that I can't really cover if I post once a week for example if possible let me know in the comment section down below if you like it daily maybe drop a like that would be really amazing but if you have any question or stuff that you specifically want to see in the beginner account series then you let me know down below so whenever I make a video I can keep those questions in mind so that the stuff I talk about can be a little bit more specific and targeted to your question but that's enough chatting shit let's get to the meat and potatoes of today's video today i fused the fire vampire it took me such a long time to get this guy i have someone i think over 100 scroll in this account and the only way i could get him was through begging my guildy to open secret dungeon for me so if you're not in the guild right off the bat, try to get yourself in the guild. Try to find one in any Discord server you know, in the general chat. Try to get in the guild because people summoning Secret Dungeon for you is one of the best ways to get skill up to get the fusion material that you need. Instantly 6 star awaken because I prepared a material for him in the day before by farming in the Hall of Fire and Hall of Magic and also prepared the 6 star material for him as well. I also managed to farm a budget crit rate blade rune from I think Giants B7 and this is the core rune for my vert to get 100% crit rate. The rest of them are just there purely for the stats. I also have the max white artifact for him so he can get some extra stats. This particular artifact is actually very good for a support unit but for now it's gonna be on the vert. Maybe I'm gonna upgrade another one for him to get some more relevant stat. It is rather cheap to upgrade Y artifact so please do so. I also 5 star the Lulu max the skill because I need something to do dragons with and I haven't gotten enough ancient coin for the front yet and I need something to do dragons with because I need the runes for the front but when I get the front if I don't have the rune then I can't use her but I do have like pretty garbage broken rune here that just have speed hp and defense so i use some of these rune on the lulu and i step into dragons so this was the team that i use i have my lapis on the vampire set and the rest were using broken set the bella is now using the violent set that you get from finishing dragons b10 but before that the runes on the light inugami was pretty much similar to what i was using on this lauren just to have some speed hp and defense and the runes on the lulu were pretty much the same as well did i have to revive yes i did and it cost me i think in total 100 crystal through a couple revive for two achievement but i think it was worth it I'm definitely rushing to get the rune set. You can do it in a slower pace. And you don't have to waste crystal at all. But I need the rune set on my core support unit. And also the two rune that I didn't use. 
this one has crit rate and this one has crit damage hp and these two are perfect for the vert because after you get the max crit rate with the blade set and a crit rate rune then the rest will be hp and speed that's all you need so these are the shitty rune that you get from you know early game i just slap it on and now my vert looks okay i think it's not too shabby it's good enough probably gonna be okay enough to do toa after this as you can see right here i've run out of a known scroll once again because during the day i try to spend the most of my time farming for fodder just to prepare to six star more unit my goal is by the end of the two week period where you have the double exp i should have around 10 six star so i'm constantly farming fodder from one star unit so that i can six star anything i want pretty much immediately what is going to be my first 2a naomi is going to be my first 2a instead of crow because i need a strong damage dealer for giants when she get 2a she can do amazing damage her rune requirement is a joke she doesn't need crit rate to crit when enemy has debuff and that is pretty much guaranteed in the giants b10 and b12 so ruining her will be very simple i don't need to dedicate very good runes for her in the previous account there was a fatal set from the event so it was easy to ruin the crow but this time i don't have that luxury so i want to use naomi in my first giants team i am currently farming b2 with this team b3 is a water boss so you cannot use the vert b4 is the miho so vert is pretty much impossible and i don't have the stats to do b5 just yet so realistically i can only do b2 which is a shame but i need to do it and also to use the energy so that it won't be wasted so soon i'll be second awaken naomi and start farming giants b10 with her i also prepared to use gildong and my toa team to substitute for sigmaris in the previous video i mentioned i won't be fusing sigmaris because i don't want to repeat literally the same thing i did for the previous daisy b account if you want to see another round of progression where i mainly focus on fran lauren sigmaris then you can watch that series but the 2.0 2021 series i want to make it slightly different but still relevant to the progression round that you have a cc unit this guy combined with slow debuff from Shannon, he can AoE stun very, very easily. He has defense break and skill 1 have attack break and glancing. So with him, I can consistently put debuff on the giant's boss as well. So my plan is to use him, Naomi, and some sort of support in giants and I will have a very, very safe team. And the AoE can control the crystal and the trash wave as well. Hopefully I can summon more 3-star towers for skill up, but this guy seems like he's going to be very interesting. The win one is really good as well. Maybe these two combined will be just amazing for TOA too. And that was what I did in the day. I alternate between farming EXP and farming Magic Essence, and now I am actually farming a little bit of Giants B9. This team can do Giants B9, and cannot do b10 i actually can clear b10 but it is not 100 percent just yet and because lapis does multi hit so she get destroyed in the boss stage very quickly and my accuracy is not that high on my support unit so i cannot land the debuff consistently to keep my team safe but i do need to get rune somehow and that is one of the major question i get asked in the previous series was that how do you get runes to get to giants a lot of runes that i got were from this the swift rune that you saw were all from this map hopefully i get a little bit lucky in farming b9 but can't really say for that most of the stuff i get are like five star rune they're pretty shit but they're good enough to cover the basic stats so i can start doing toa as well I want to get TOA done a little bit quicker compared to the previous episode, the previous account. I did TOA normal, I think in 14 days last time. And there was the free dark vampire lord and the rune set as well. This time there's none of that shit, but there are some other achievement. And the artifact is going to help a lot too. 
So hopefully I can get TOA normal done before the 14 days record that I set last time for myself and soon crush B12. But that's all I have for you guys in this episode today. What else do I have? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I went to the gym today. I went to the gym for the past four days. Feels good. And yeah, just trying to keep up my New Year's resolution that I made in the New Year video where I talk about doing this, doing that. So that's what I've been doing. Just farming a lot in this beginner account and waiting for the balance patch to make actual content in the main account because there's nothing much to do over there and I'll, I'll try to bring out more content but it's kind of dry right now not gonna lie but that's it for today stop rambling sean b and i'll see you guys in the next video if you enjoyed the video definitely smash that like button thank you so much and i just saw this man got a griffin sd i'm gonna add him beg him to add me so i can skill up my spectra and i'll be right back in the next episode bye bye